How is it going guys? I'm Daniel, you're watching Daniel Tech and in today's video we're going to talk about how to free up a lot of your memory space just by working on your photos, okay? I know that lots of you guys, like me, have gigs and gigs and gigs of photos and videos and in today's video I'll show you how to diminish that by a lot of gigs and that is pretty easy, it's just working on iCloud photo library okay so just keep in mind that you have to be updated to iOS 9 okay it doesn't have necessarily to be iOS 9.1 but it is much better if you are updated to iOS 9 so that is iPhone 5s, 6 and 6s so I really recommend updating before watching this video uh, and that is pretty much about that let's go ahead and jump in so you can have an idea what I'm talking about Let's go. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the process is very simple. All you have to do is pretty much enable iCloud Photo Library, as I mentioned before. I will give you the demonstration and I'll give you this step by step just so you guys uh, can do it on your own. So, just as a, dem as a reference, I'll go to Photos here and I'll blur this just for privacy. And you see that I have 778 photos and 20 videos. And all of that is in extremely high quality and uh, let me just show you how much storage it occupies so if you go to settings and then general and storage and iCloud usage and manage storage you can see all my storage right here and you can see that photos and camera just takes 603 megabytes okay that's not a lot that's actually very little for the amount of media that I have on my phone and the, the, the way that you can get this as well is just by following my process, okay? So, we come back to general again, and now is where the magic happens. We go to iCloud, and then Photos, and then right here in the Photos tab is where you're going to work. So, you have to pretty much enable iCloud Photo Library, and what it does is it automatically upload and store your entire library in iCloud to access photos and videos from all your devices. This is very similar and it sounds a lot like my photo stream. And if you are old iPhone users, users like myself, you know that my photo stream used to do this, but not exactly. It didn't used to put everything on the cloud, it didn't used to actually free up your space. I don't really know what it did, but it wasn't very good. And I really don't know why they keep both now. So you pretty much enable iCloud Photo Library and you put optimized iPhone storage. This is the magic. So when you do this, what it does is very simple. It doesn't necessarily download the full quality images to your phone. What it does is it keeps on your phone the thumbnail and the low quality photo. And if you tap on it and if you want to see, it will download the image uh, on demand. So if you don't have internet connection, you see the photo in low quality, but nowadays we all have internet connection all the time and uh, the benefit of this is just worth it. So just keep in mind that you have to enable this and it will automatically start uh, uploading everything to the cloud. Mine was updated two minutes ago, as you guys can see, and it does this all the time. So all the time it is updated and syncing and getting all your photos and just putting on the cloud. I'm sorry, I'll just put on do not disturb. So, uh, and, and it puts everything on the cloud. So the idea is very simple and I'll just show you how good it is. So if you go to photos again, uh, here are all my photos. So then if you see a very recent photo like this of this beer right here, uh, you see that it didn't download, it kept the high quality photo and there's no problem because this was very recent. But if we go back to old photos, if we tap on this photo right here, this was taken uh, two months ago. As you guys could see, it very quickly downloaded the image right here in this corner and now we have the photo in high quality. So now we have the photo in high quality and it was very quick and if we didn't have internet connection, we would just see the image in low quality, but it wasn't so bad. So that is pretty much the process. It's very easy, it's very easy to do and you just free up loads of space on your phone. Just keep in mind that this will use your iCloud storage. So if you have the free plan of five gigs and uh, this puts, imagine like five other gigs in your uh, iCloud drive, you, you're in your iCloud account, you will obviously not have enough space. So um, the iPhone will ask you to upgrade your plan, but the plans are very cheap, so the 
they are worth it you know it's just worth it again the benefit of uh, just freeing up so much space is just very good okay so that's basically it thank you very much for watching please hit the like button down here and the subscribe button it helps me out a lot and it keeps you updated so every time I post a new video you will be notified and you will see and I post videos regularly every other Sunday there will be new videos like this one uh, so please make sure to do that also comment uh, I like to see everything you post and I like to see all the information and I read everything so thank you very much for the support and I'll see you guys in a bit bye bye